For the following exercises, given each set of information, find a linear equation satisfying the conditions if possible. All right. So let me give you uh, an interesting perspective here first. So let's pretend, uh, let's, let's graph these two points, all right, roughly. So 2, 4, right? So that means x is 2, we go out 2, then we go up 4. Right? So the point might be located somewhere around there. Next would be 4, 10. So we go out to 4 here, right? And then we would go up to 10, okay? So 10 is there. So now, what exactly does it mean uh, if this equation is linear? Well, it just means that the line passes through these two points, right? So that should be fine. However, though, how do we know that the equation is truly linear? Like, couldn't, couldn't the equation look something like this, something strange? Right? Well, that, that turned into a linear line. But couldn't it look like something strange like that? Or couldn't it maybe be a circle, something passing through those two points? Right? I mean, there could be a whole bunch of things. So whenever we have two points, I mean, technically, it might almost be impossible to try to figure that out. Okay. However, however, uh, what we realize is that we're going to have to make an assumption. All right. We're going to assume that if we have two points, we know two points, a single line can pass through those two points. Even though we don't know definitively whether they will be linear or not, we can assume that it is. All right. So as long as you have two points, uh, a line can run through those two points. All right. So that being the case, now that that's out of the way, uh, let's see if we can create a linear equation. By the way, when they say linear equation, what they mean is this. They want to know this. They want to know y is equal to mx plus b. But they don't want to just know this. They want to know a value for m and they want to know a value for b. Like what, what could you plug into your calculator? You could plug this in, right? 3x plus 7. You could plug in negative 1 over you know, one half x minus 15, right? That's all good, right? Y is equal to, you could plug this all in. So, ba but you can't plug this into your calculator, right? It's not going to do anything. So basically that's what they want us to do. They want us to find M and B, all right? Now, the first thing I'm going to do is find M. I know that whenever I'm given two points, I can always find the slope because I have the slope formula. M is equal to Y2 minus, let me make that two a little clearer, y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now, I don't care which point you call 1 and 2. That's totally irrelevant, all right? Uh, since this one comes first, I'm going to call it 1, and this other one I'm going to call 2. And that means that, remember, in, in terms of an ordered pair, x is always first, y is always second, and therefore, since I call this point 1, they're both going to have subscripts of 1. Remember, x always comes first, y always comes second, and since I call this my second point, I'm going to call them both 2s. All I now need to do is plug these points into my slope formula and calculate. So I defined y2 to be 10. Minus then, I defined y1 to be 4. I defined x2 to be 4. And I defined y, uh, x1 excuse me, to be 2. Literally, just do the math here. So 10 minus 4 is 2. What? what? 10 minus 4 is 2. Did you catch that? I said it wrong, but I wrote the right number. 10 minus 4 is 6. Okay. Man, 4 minus 2 is, let me think about it, 2. Okay, I just don't want to get it wrong. And the slope then is simply going to be 3. Okay, so we found the slope. Now that we know the slope, we can then find the y-intercept. Okay, how do we do it? Well, let's start with this general equation here. y is equal to mx plus b. I know what m is, and in order to find b, that means I need to know the other... Th two things, right? Y and X. And you might say, well, what, what are they? Well, guess what? Whoops. Guess what? You have two points, right? Each point has an X and a Y. So you can actually use either point you want to help you solve for B here. Let's say we're going to use this point here. All I now need to do is simply plug in the Y value of that point, which is four. The slope value I calculated to be three. The x value of that point is 2 plus b. One equation, one unknown. Let's go. Let's do it. So this is 4 is equal to 6 plus b. Subtract the 6 from both sides, and we realize that b will be equal to negative 2. Now that you know what m and b are, you finally now have an equation for the linear function. Okay, let's move that over. And now all we're going to write down is the formula now, or the equation. y is equal to 3x minus 2. 
And that is something you can plug into that calculator now, right? So that's all it is. Okay, so now what I need to do is basically do the same thing for the second one here. So notice they gave us two points again. Call this the first point, so this will be x1 comma y1. Call this the second point, this will be x2 comma y2. And simply now begin to plug in the values, right? So here we have the slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1, all right? And now what we can do is simply plug in the y2, which is 11. The y1 I defined as 5. The x2 I defined as 4. And the x1 I defined as 1. So now we just simply calculate, right? 11 minus 5 is 6, 4 minus 1 is 3, and we simply come down to a slope of then 2. Now what we do is we simply use our y is equal to mx plus b formula, because I know if I can identify three of these variables, right, these three specifically, I can find my b. So I can choose any point I like that will represent both the y and the x value. I just found the slope, so I can plug that in, and voila, here we go. Let's choose the first point. All right, y is 5, the slope is 2 as we found, the x value of that point is 1 plus b. Let's do it, one equation, one unknown. So 5 is equal to 2 plus b, minus the 2 from both sides, and realize now that we're going to get b is equal to 3. And lo and behold, we have the pieces we need. y, the overall equation is y is equal to 2x plus 3. Voila. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. If it did, help us out and subscribe if you can. That'd be awesome. And uh, also, if you found the video helpful, some of your other friends that might be in the same class or even in a different class, we've got a whole bunch of videos might find these helpful. All right, we appreciate it so much. Thank you.